Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Ghost Shoot Dude here. And what do I have besides the Beetle, Tiger, and Swordfish Sword? I got Sour Patches. Okay, so awesome candy. Anyway, um, so now we're gonna form the Battle Wing Megazord, which consists, like I said, Beetle, Tiger, and Swordfish Sword. So, I'm gonna get the Samurai Sword and move these guys out of the way because we are not gonna need them. Shoo. Okay. So to make it battle wing mega we're gonna start with the tiger. Rip everything off, need the tail out there, rip the head off, and then straighten these out. Now you can just leave it like this, but it just looks real that I don't know if it's just me or anyone else that this would be probably better if it's up here and this would be down here. That's what I'll do. So I'll go ahead and do that real quick. See, doesn't that look better? Just like this. Okay, so you got that done and then you flip over this back panel on a tiger and then there's this big cross shape that goes to the circle and my just snipped. That goes in, and you can probably close that and make it flat. So that's part one done. Okay, so the next step is to rip the top horn of the Beetlezord off, like so. Take off both the legs, and this leg right here, you just want to flip it around, and you want the big long leg in front and upwards, because when it was before, it was down. You see, so you want it up, and you instead of putting it right here, you want it in this uh, right area. And now you're done with that. Now we go to the swordfish. Not to do much, uh, just close up his fins, rip the top dorsal and his tail, which are one piece. Just rip that off, and then you get the other beetlezoid leg, and you flip that around, and you put it in this white. Um, tab. So it goes in like that. And then what you do is you put them together. You see they conjoin right here. Same right here. And then the top of the um, beetle's uh, horn will become the crane's head. So the motif for this origami is a crane. And this, we just snap in, just line it up. Come on now. Oh my god, don't give me a hard time right now. There we go. So that's in. And then you want to take the tiger's tail and there'll be the, sort of like a crest uh, for it. So yeah. Oh, also before I forget, the tail is like, uh, the, the, the tail of the swordfish is like this. Turn it sideways. So now it can be more like a bird's tail almost. And now you got this. Now you got the Battle Wing Megazord. So yeah, let's see what it looks like when it rolls. So the the beetle thing still spins. Um, this doesn't spin at all, as, as you can see. And this part right here spins also, but there's no tail, so it looks kind of weird. And you can probably extend this too if you want it. But the B portion is like this. And I keep on popping that off, I don't know why. Come on, this one doesn't stay in that well. There we go. Okay, so difference from the Japanese version, uh, the American one is a lot smaller. This crest piece is supposed to come together. Um, when you roll, they all do the function like this one will have the uh, sword go up and down, this will spin, and the turbines in the back would spin. The tail is different also, I can't remember what's the difference with it, and I think that's it. So yeah. So yeah, it's a motif is a crane. Has these four thrusters in the back, which I do like. It's pretty cool. Has a tail to maneuver itself. And that's it for this mode. Now we're going to combine it with the Megazord. So we get the Samurai Megazord. Boom. 
extend my camera okay stay at just night there we go and the only thing you need to do is where well, this is our where well, this is for, that you just rip this piece up knocks in uh, put the helmet and the dragon's leg on the bat on the um, yeah battle wing you want to take the crest off and I take off the two bottoms with only the two claws. So take those off and the tiger's head. Attach this whole piece back here. Make sure it doesn't pop everywhere. I guess that happens to me. There we go. Actually, stay in. Good. So that's in. And, um. Oh, camera, please don't fall. Oh, man. Come on. Let's do it. Good. Okay, so right here you want to. Uh, the Nike have these two holes. I mean, it has holes right here also, as you can see, but you can use either leg. I just like to use this one. And I would like to have where the Ranger's foot would be pegged in in the back so you don't see it in the front. And probably right there, and it's nice and smooth, smooth finish. So you plug those two on each leg. Then we come back up. And then we zoom in action. Then we get the lion's head. Push this piece back down. You will do it for like uh, the Tiger Samurai Megazord mode. And like I said before, in, in the um, in the review for the Tiger Zord is that um, this crest piece will be in like a circle but when it's like going to battle wing megazord mode this thing spreads in half like it's supposed to so now it's accurate so there we have the battle wing the battle wing samurai megazord completed so now we got eight zords combined to this behemoth um, difference with this mode and the Japanese mode is I think the only difference is obviously the size but besides that the Japanese one had um, the legs right here and that we put on the chest like this oh wait hold on a second I think I did something wrong no I think I did it right never mind okay I can't remember was he supposed to go up I don't think I don't think those are supposed to go up because I don't remember uh, if I'm wrong, comment me and um, yeah, I'll just say I'm wrong and all that. But I think that's supposed to be down because that actually looks better when it's down. It's like boosters. But like I said, the Japanese one had like both the um, the other tiger legs uh, right here on its chest, which I didn't like actually. I didn't like that version. I actually do like the um, how Bandai America. Someone got into its legs with those two pegs on the side of each of the legs. So it looks like he has boosters on the side of his legs. So plus one for them. And also you can put the sword still in the hand. So yeah. Get you guys a good look at this. And without my camera falling. Okay, there we go. So we got this behemoth back booster piece right here. And one of the legs just popped off. There we go. So yeah, that's my review of the Samurai uh, Battle Wing Megazord. And if you do not subscribe, he will cut you to pieces with a Samurai Sword. Ah! So yeah. Okay. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Awesome reviews from Go Shoot Dude. I'll see you guys later.